Hello procrastinators and welcome to Heavy Rain. This is a quick time event them up. Uh, which is, um, I have two distinct opinions on this game. One is I like experimental games and things that do stuff differently. Uh, that's where I really get my kicks. So having something like this, which is different to everything else, is really quite exciting and superb and brilliant in that sense. Uh, the other part of me thinks that this game is awful on toast. It's barely a game. It's, it's really story focused and the story makes no sense. There are whole giant red herrings in the story that just never get resolved and are just there to lie in an attempt to fake plot tension and it completely falls apart when you get to the end. The journey's quite fun, playing the game is quite good fun, but the ending ruins everything. It is one of the most spectacular train wrecks of an ending I've ever played, which makes it even more an interesting game, in my opinion. Uh, so let's give this a go with a new story. Uh, the old loading screen that is a flashing bird. Does the word loading also appears in the top left corner sometimes, but they flash at different intervals, so they start flashing wrong. That really pisses me off. That's, that's a big glimpse into my psyche right there. You may be wondering why I'm not playing Beyond Two Souls instead of this, which is made by the same people Beyond Two Souls just came out. Uh, look! They flash at different times! I will never play Beyond Two Souls because I couldn't even make the fucking loading screens flash at the same time. Saturday, 11.22am. It's actually Saturday, uh, 3am. Oh yeah, I have a grown-up work ethic. And we start the game as fast and exciting as possible with a dead man laying on a bed. Or this guy. It just sort of lays there for a bit. To interact, make the indicated move with the right stick. Up. There you go. He can now get out of bed. Try to do it slowly to see how you control the animation speeds. You go, oh, oh, oh. No, I'm not feeling it. Swing. Up and swing. What you got in here? You have clothing. Ooh. And you've closed it. Ah, look at these two happy people. I wonder who they are. I found that picture on a pile of dead people. Oh, his knees have failed. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh, yeah, oh no, it's gone. Well, I'm not wearing anything. Best of going in a kid's bedroom. Nope, oh, they're all dead. <laughs> One's hiding in a teepee. I love how just dead he looks. Just standing still, he just looks so dead. He's like, oh, kill me now. Put me in a real game, please. Flick the thing. Square. I did that. Triangle. I did that. Circle. I did that. X. I did that. Square. I did that. Triangle. I did that. Circle. I did that. Wow, I feel compelled to continue. Continue the explosive action by going through this door in this game of The Sims. Won't be having any of this. Nope. No, thank you very much. <laughs> Will that joke ever get old? I don't think so. Will David Cameron ever get old? I don't think so. He's lizard people. Cover up his man bits. Don't want to see that thing that 50% of the entire population of the Earth has. No sorry, Bob. I like how he looks in the mirror. He looks like a budgie confused at its own reflection. I am so involved with the gameplay right now. Oh, come on, just fit. I hate fucking having to move. If God had wanted me to move, he wouldn't have given me such a comfortable ass. Smile at your own face. Yeah, you're so happy and content with your blissful life. Can't wait to lop your fucking thumb off. Spoilers. <laughs> I fucking hate those sinks. They are too flat. You need a good bowl in sinks to catch all the vomit. I mean, you know, blood. Let's go urinate. There's a bird already in the toilet. Who put the bird in the toilet? He does just walk like a robot, but not in a, in a cool robot way. Let's go downstairs. Make him ultra robotic. Oh, he's considering it. He... Uh, no. Oh, the, the downstairs is too crazy for me right now. I oh, Christ knows what I'm going to be doing, but it's, it's not going downstairs. Let's set fire to the budgie. Quick, censor his knees. Okay, now I've put clothes on. I'm allowed to go downstairs. Yep, that's right. On a game that boasts choice, you're not actually allowed to go down the stairs unless you're wearing clothes. Which is just bad choice. Oh, well, he's forgotten something. <laughs> go downstairs. Come on. There we go. Characters' thoughts change with the situation. Remember to check them regularly. Uh, yeah, let's not check the thoughts because massive spoiler warning, they're completely lying. And if you trust that these are the thoughts of the character, you're a gibbon. I kind of like the idea that some were in development of this game. David Cage was playing this and went, oh, I wish this guy would just walk more robotically. Quick, destroy the control system we currently have. Oh, that just looks out. It'd be great if you just crashed through it. <laughs> what does that say on the wall there? Parappa, rappa, rappa, rappa. Oh, it's, it's elephants. Why am I reading? <laughs> I'm reading the elephants. Okay. Oh my god, look at these balloons. They are just the world's most depressing balloons. Someone's like, okay, I'm gonna blow up the balloons. <gasps> Fuck it. Ooh, what's this? What's this I can do? I can eat a single grape. 
Like the motherfucker that I am. <gasps> Two grapes, you bastard. Can I eat more grapes? No. That is enough grapes for Robot Ethan. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Um, do I want to read about architecture? No, oh, I'm not. I'm not feeling it today. Uh, yeah, let's let's not bother. <laughs> How inhuman was that walk up the stairs? There's just no emotion in it whatsoever. Just boom, boom. <laughs> Shoulders are all boom. Okay, this is the heist we're planning. We're gonna rob uh, the insides of a head crab and a building in the wild west. Okay, I can do some drawing. Oh, I did a line. I did that line. Okay, then I drew a line that way. I've done a line that way. He's fucking good at drawing lines. I'll give him that. He's not good at keeping his kids alive, but <laughs> it's worth. Well done. You've drawn Tron. Yeah, draw more. Uh, triangle. There we go. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, no, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. Remember, this is the explosive action-y start to get you into the game. It's saying, when this move the slowly with the right stick. Oh, how slowly? That slowly? Oh, God. Do I have to do this for every single one of these lines he's drawn? I think I think he's an architect. He's too scared to read books on architect archaeology. Oh, he's fucked it up. He's fucked it up. Oh, too fast. Whoa, shock horror. What if I do it again? Oh, shock horror. Seriously, three times. Just quit. There he did. Ha, sucks to be you. Oh, now he's burning it. Oh, he scrunched it up. I'm the world's worst architect. Oh, do I have to do it again? I give up on being the world's worst architect. Oh, no. Straight back to that point. Oh, good. Okay, this line again. We did this line fine. But now this line. All right, dude, let's be careful. This line. There we go. That was worth it. Are you done now? Is that it? Press and hold down each button to this pier. Triangle. L1. Circle. There we go. I did it. I don't know why I did. Was that really how much effort I needed for that line? Okay, square. L1. X. I think I'm about to do some sort of super move. Oh no, I've just drawn one line. Game flash! Well done, he's drawn a picture of a house. Kindergartners can do that, but shut up me. Let's just, yeah. That is some impressive shading I've got going on there. This appears to be just world's most boring man simulator. It just looks like someone who's gonna kill mother. everyone. Ethan 4000 has done his work. Ethan 4000 now requires some sort of leisure activity. Hang on a second. Is it Ethan 4000th birthday? Oh, Ethan 4000 has heard a car. Hey, take it easy, you're gonna knock me over. Like you were a car and he was you. Press and hold on each button, appearing until they all disappear. Okay, square. I've got them. Eh, uh, I've changed my mind, I don't want them. You can have them back. And then square. I've got them. And then X. I'm just kidding, you can have them back. And then square. I've got them. <laughs> Seriously, when I played this game, I did this constantly. Oh no! Kiss rejection! Kiss rejection! I've got a billion things to do. One billion is too many things for a puny human to do. Fun dish! Oh, I fucked up the plate! Hey, Ethan, you said you were gonna be careful. I am sorry, gonna be careful. I'm, I'm gonna be very careful at getting this exactly fucked up. Fun dish! Frisbee it! Oh! Seriously. I know, I know. I'm being careful. Yeah, fucking plates. Give me fucking paper plates. Fum tish! Oh, fum tish! There we go. Whoa! Ethan! Last one, last one, last. Just fucking frisbee it across the room. Yeah. Ethan 4000 must pick his favorite child. Um, me first, me first. Well, fuck you. Fuck you both. I'm just gonna stand here, silently judging. I wanna do the helicopter. It's my turn now, it's my turn! Do me up in the air! Done! Oh, no. God damn, this is the most amusing game in the world. Oh. Into the shed! Into the glass! Da 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 Dad, show us our yeah, strong show us big muscles. <laughs> so great, we just like knock one of the kids out. That's how I do. I am the strongest of the grown ups. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh shit, the kid's coming through with a sword. Plot twist. Fuck the kid up. Yeah, slice him. Slice him. Decimate him. Kick his teeth in. Yes. 
I love how the smooth movement is now gone. What the fuck happened there? He sort of just leant back. <laughs> I have done a wheelie. I have the theory that this guy isn't a human. He's just a Segway. And he just can't quite get up any cliffs or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! What's going on there? Oh god, if you don't go straight at it, it just fucks up. That's great. Oh no, actually now I just can't get up there. It's just not letting me go up there. They told me to smile. It would make me seem less creepy to the humans. It has failed. Here we go, run up, spinning run up. Oh shit, the bed! I made it up. Oh yeah. Oh fuck, no, I've caught up these by accident. Ethan 4000 thinks it is a nice day outside. Oh, He's dead. Yeah, I found him in the toilet earlier. He's dead and it's all my fault. He committed suicide oh, rather than being your pet. Your That's how much he hates you. Meanwhile, in flower. Throw him at the clown! Yep, great dad here. Dad of the year. Just staring at his wife's ass while Jason wanders off. Oh my god, can this kid just die already? <laughs> Thank you. Abandon a child and he gets hit by a car. First thing you do, abandon the other child. Classic parenting. Oh yeah, that was the awesome opening that really sets the tone of kill me now. Oh, the text is slightly floating yet the car goes through it. That's horrible. Welcome to Depressvania. Population 4,982, 81, 80. Ah, here's our happy-go-lucky star. Hey, Champaroni. Yeah, I could drive you, but fuck it. I gotta go and see what mysteries lie away. I will be free. Free from the relentless... Ah, oh, God damn it. Okay, things we can do. Let's do that. Seatbelt on. Safety first. Okay, let's drive. Warp speed! Oh. Written and directed by David Cage. I say written. Scrawled in crayon. Welcome home! We had to sell the other house for the following reasons. La 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 la. Alright then, let's have a look at Shawnee's to-do list. 4.30 snack. 6 o'clock homework. I'll do the homework first, get out of the way. Ugh, right, okay, snack. How do we snack? What's the time? Oh, we can see the climb. It is currently... Oh fuck, I'm late for the snack! Oh god. Why can't we just... They probably do this every day, yeah, he can't remember it. Or every other day or whatever. Beer! Beer is the snack I want to give the child! A activate it! Make it go again! Right, there it is, okay, I wanna- I wanna get another thing out. Pizza? Is that a thing I can give him? That looks like pi that's orange juice. Okay. Orange juice is a snack, it's healthy and shaky. Feed the child with it! Oh, drink it yourself. I have a cat where you keep your snacks! Where do you keep your snacks, child? Maybe he keeps your snacks in here. Ah! Which one of these is your snack? Is it the glue? Yeah, we'll give him the glue. Child, where does one keep one's snacks? Where are you going? What's going on? Follow the child. Follow the child. Don't go outside, don't go outside. I cannot find the snacks that you're going without. So it's not the clock, it's not the outside. It's not his chopping board of death. Uh, we got snacks out here, that's a dead... Uh, well, I don't know what that is, but it's dead. Oh, I have to talk to you. Snack! Are you hungry? I guess, uh, a little. Okay, Let's cool. see what yes. we can find in the kitchen. Yeah, well, I can find you some beer. Do you like beer? Children like beer, right? An apple. An apple is nearly beer. Hey, dead child. Have some beer. I mean, I'm going to sit here and watch the clock tick down before I can do other things with him. Because I cannot converse with him. Ooh, can I watch TV with you? TV! Oh, shit. Dad, oh, I'm sorry. I was trying to watch it! Ugh, oh, I only left a mess. This kid's a prick. Well, I'm out of here. Off to ruin your life. See you later. Have fun with your therapist. Bye! Child, where do you keep your nest? Is it in here? Is this your nest, child? Oh yeah, this looks like a child nest. Right, you, with the poking. What does that do? Fumtish. Oh, let's make it dark in here. Let's make the child nest dark. Oh my god. His art skills are abysmal. Leave me alone, I hate you! Oh, well, that's too bad. Uh, anyway, I own this house and this room, so you're sleeping out in the garden today. In fact, not my garden, because I own that as well. It's raining a little, so you might want to take something. Not from here, I own all of this. Go away. Whoop. Pretty successful day parenting. Oh no, he's having a touch of the plot holes. Okay, so let's talk about this. He blacks out and then wakes up in other places. Sometimes when he wakes up in other places, he wakes up with an origami figure in his hand like this. This is never explained. Never. This is just a thing that happens and they never explain it. The fan theory is that the murderer is following him around and placing those in there. But that would mean that the murderer is following him 24 hours a day just to give him this convenient sort of loophole get out thing. 
It's the most preposterous, stupid, giant, colossal plot hole, and they never, ever, ever sort it out. Tuesday. Oh, yeah. 0 0.272 inches. That's depressing. Oh, hello. David Tennant's let himself go. Anybody mind if I just explore this place? No one cares? No? Cool. Hi. Hi. Sorry, I only declined by appointment. Okay. Oh, fuck. Well, end of the game. Cool, I wonder what I will be thinking at this moment in time, because spoiler warning, this guy turns out to be the murderer. I did say there'd be spoilers in this. Boom, Tish. This is the murderer. This is plot hole, giant plot hole number two. You can hear this guy's thoughts. He's the murderer, and he never wants things. Oh, crikey, I best get out of this. He always just thinks about things. He does a huge job of investigating as well. His character makes absolutely no sense. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. They are the worst at picking hired detectives. The worst. I Shit, I think she's, she's getting suspicious of me. Quick, act casual. Oh yeah, this is casual. Just stroke the side panel. It. Stroke it. Hi. Hello. I'm a big face. Look, I can listen to things. I gotta get out of here. He's gotta get out of here. What else do you want to say? I'll card. leave my card on the kitchen table. You yeah, okay. Know. That sounds like a good idea. What no else you got? Pushing her. She's not yeah. gonna tell me anymore. Yeah. You know, you know everything. This makes no sense for you to be thinking things like that. It's really irritating. Goodbye. He's dying. <laughs> Great if you had a blackout as well. They all black out. Really hey, Stone Cold Steve Austin's attacking this lady. We should help her. Morning. Politely knock after a scream. Yeah, politely knock again. The chair! It is Stone Cold. Oh, <laughs> uh, did you know when you find out who the origami killer is? He goes, it was me, Austin! Oh, he's got a stabbing one. This fight scene has now been going on for six hours. New story. Oh my god, he's trying to beat me with a head. I'll see you again, asshole. No, you won't. And as this guy limps off into the sunset, I will end this video here. Thank you very much for watching Procrastinators and ta Enter the domain of the nerd cube. Videos dropping from above like birds.